in this dream, I was seeing a very huge mermaid. You know, these are mythical creatures. You know, a mermaid is a, it's a marine thing which has got the appearance of a person. Initially, I thought I must be under very serious attack to see this thing. And God told me, you are seeing this thing. I said, yes, I'm seeing this thing. And the dream ended. And then when, when I was praying, I acted as if I'd fallen asleep, you see. But I was not really asleep because I could hear people talking. You know, around the yard, I could hear people doing their activities. But I'm partially asleep. I don't know whether it happens, but I think it happens to everyone. I'm partially asleep. I see again this huge thing, like it's an ocean. At the ocean, if you have visited the ocean. It's like I'm standing on the seashore. <clears throat> and then I'm seeing this very huge thing, but very beautiful. Very, very beautiful woman. It's huge as a very, you know, like a, half of the NRZ building. It's a very tall building. If I'm not mistaken, it has got 20 floors. Or thereabouts. It's a monster. But a very beautiful monster. I'm asking God, what does this mean? I'm asking within the dream, because there was a person within the dream. I'm asking this person, this thing which we're watching, what is it? And the person answered me, it's a mermaid. Can't you see that it's a mermaid? I said, oh, it's a mermaid. But unfortunately in the dream, you, you are not able to operate cognitively and through your natural reasoning. I could not ask the other questions and the dream ended. And then yesterday I had the same kind of dream and I spent the whole day traveling. So when I was praying in the evening yesterday, I asked God, God, what are you saying with this message of me seeing the mermaid three th times coming out of the seashore, coming out of the waters of the ocean? God told me that this is the marine spirit that is holding many of you in bondage. I said, God, but we are free in Christ. Your word says we are free in Christ. The spirit of God says, said to me in my heart, your ill discipline causes you to be under the control of this mermaid monster that you saw. Your ill what? Discipline is giving a hair. And that this hair, it's not a hair, a human being. It's something which is half of a tall building. It's clearly a demonic what? And it. A demonic being. The Spirit of God tells me your ill discipline, your lack of discipline gives her the right of passage into your lives so that she can operate to hinder my blessings from being unleashed in your lives. So I said, what, what should I do? The Spirit of God said, I want you to lay a tireless in prayer against her. Because when the church is free from her influence, the church will be free for my power to begin to operate within her. I said, is that what I must do to just pray in the prayer closet, fast when I'm supposed to fast? The Spirit of God told me, go and tell your brothers and sisters that their ill discipline or lack of discipline causes them to come under the oppression of the queen of the coast. The spirit of mermaid. The spirit of Satan. Their lack of what? Discipline. Their ill discipline. Their failure to have a what? A gathered current. Our ill discipline on social media. Our ill discipline on television. Our ill discipline even when how we interact as Christians. Our ill discipline in our appetites. Failure to have consecrated times of prayer and even fasting. Failure to have consecrated times of prayerfully reading the word of God. It causes 
this demonic entity of the queen of the coast to have the right of passage to oppress us and hinder the blessings of God from flowing within the church. And then the spirit of God said, she is the one, the one that you are seeing, she is the one who is fighting against men and women of God. All these men and women of God that are in their confusion fighting against one another, instead of fighting against her, they are under the oppression of the queen of the coast. This is the message that I was told by the Spirit of God. That we must gather ourselves in terms of our courage. Prepare for spiritual warfare. How? By prayerfully reading the word of God. And engage in the spiritual warfare. Start at the level kind of spiritual warfare. And we must not fight against one another. Because that is what the queen of the coast, the spirit of mermaid, the marine spirit from the ocean wants us to do, for us to fight among one another. Instead of us fighting together as a unit against the forces of darkness. The Bible in Ephesians chapter 6 does not say we are wrestling against each other as the saints, but we are wrestling against principalities, powers, authorities and spiritual laws of wickedness of which this is spirit of mermaid the spirit of the coast the queen of the coast is one of the demonic entities that is fighting the church so that's why you see so much confusion pastors posting videos against one another fighting on the internet instead of fighting for lost souls pastors are just fighting against one another what has happened to the body of christ what has happened to the church? It's the spirit of the coast, the spirit of mermaid, the spirit of the marine, which is warring against the saints. The spirit of God said, go and tell them that Lucifer, Satan, is fighting the church using the spirit of the coast, the spirit of mermaid, which is why you see there is sexual immorality all over the place. There is divorce all over the place. That's what the Spirit of God said. That when you fight him and you reinstate the victory of Jesus Christ, which he purchased for you at Calvary, you paralyze the efforts against the, the church. You will begin to see my power flowing. But the price that you have to pay, it is the price of prayerful meditation in my presence. It's the price of prayerful meditation in my word.